Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about some important things that I use for recording with my cell phone, especially on cruises and other things. Basically, vlogging and video memory capturing accessories for a smartphone. Uh, this is the iPhone 15, but any smartphone, so stay tuned. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get into it real quick though. Big shout out to one of my exclusive Kilman Explorers uh, designs. Yeah, anyway, let's get into it. Smartphone accessories. All right, so this is my iPhone 15. It's a little dirty, but I'm gonna show you some of the things I take with me, my favorite things, to vlog on cruises and other things. I do have a basic protector case that allows for the mag safe to come through. I don't know if you can kind of see it right there, the mag magnets, and I do have a detachable camera cover that does off sometimes have glare, but I do recommend them even though the case does have bumper protection, just so the lenses don't get scratched. And I do have replacements for this protector, but this is my basic case. And I like it because I need the MagSafe to use a lot of these things I'm gonna show you. And hopefully I keep this in frame. But first thing of course is the DJI uh, smartphone gimbal. This is the OM three, I believe, or four. All these things will be linked, of course, even my cell phone case, if that's something you're interested in. I am kind of zoomed in tight on this, so I will kind of try to do good. You will need this adapter, which you can buy aftermarket on Amazon for a smartphone, MagSafe. I'm not gonna peel this. Uh, I guess I should actually, I don't know, because I don't need the sticky. My phone works uh, magnetic, but it needs this big one. You will need this adapter here. So you put this on first on your phone, MagSafe. There you go. And I don't know how much this was. It was not expensive. This does come with, um, if you prefer, the only thing is I'm worried about it scratching. It has a one of these that has an adjustable bracket that can go on the width of your phone and it snaps on the back. You, that's also an option we take. But once this is on, uh, this little indention will line up with that. And it pretty much just instantly connects if you heard that. So I'm gonna turn this on and hopefully it's in frame. So I'm gonna turn this on. That's not the on button, is it? This is this one. And when you turn it on, it automatically should write itself. And you can switch between, I call it TikTok, uh, lands portrait to, if you hit this, or the to landscape automatically. And you can walk around and it'll keep it somewhat balanced, which is nice. And I do recommend this. This is by DJI. There is off brands that I, I've heard also work pretty good. It does have another attachment that I don't have on right now where you can stick it in and it has a little tripod legs. It also extends the grip as well if you want to close them in so you have more of a way to hold it and raise it up higher if you need to, but that way it can stand here and you can talk in it. If you're on TikTok, switch it back. You can talk live on TikTok, which we've done before, but I highly recommend this, uh, the DJI OM three or four. Anyway, it's it's smartphone uh, gimbal. It's basically a stabilizer. Smartphones pretty much have an internal stabilizer too, so it's kind of overkill, but it does make things smooth and it's really nice to walk around and keep this a little less jittery as you walk around. Another new addition, this is brand new. I just got this on Amazon. And if you kind of see what this is, it's, uh, let me actually connect it. It's also MagSafe. It snaps right on and it feels pretty cheap until you connect your phone to it. And it creates like a point and shoot aspect to it. This is uh, Bluetooth. So this will Bluetooth connect. You turn it on here, but it allows you to point and shoot, which is nice. Let's see if it works here. Yep, it's already connected from last time. And you can see it did start recording. You can hit it and it stops, which is nice. You cannot zoom in or out with it. Uh, I do like it also because it also, you can you know put your front facing camera on and then it'll stand up kind of on its own and you have a, a little live stream right here. If you get it high enough, of course you might need a little higher. You can also change the orientation to this way. If you'd like to walk around and film in uh, portrait mode or TikTok mode as I like to call it. So you can walk around and hold it this way and also start and stop functions as well. All right, it's called the Erebus. I doubt you're gonna see that, but it's linked in my affiliate links and my um, link tree, and I'll link everything in this video. But it is, right now, it is 1889, 
when I got it, it was on sale. Right now, there is a $2 coupon, though, so that'll take it to, like, 17 bucks. And it comes with multiple colors. You get more options with this one. This might. This is $36, but blue and black, or I got black. And there's a higher-end model, I believe, with... Um, with a battery so i guess it'll remote it'll wirelessly charge your phone also i forgot to mention that while this is plugged in this will wirely charge so while i have this on number one tip do not lose your charger i think this is it it came in in black so this plugs in it's usb-c which is great we all have that now plug that in and this leads me into my second must have for your smartphone which this is my old trusty this one's from timu uh battery backup it takes a while to turn on there it goes, wirelessly charging. And it has a purple light while it's actively charging, kind of a purplish light, kind of flashing. I don't know if you can see that. But that leads me into my other item, the battery backup, which is important because I can keep this in my pocket and I can still use this and it's wirelessly charging, which is great. I always bring this, even if I'm not using this little adapter or this camera, smartphone camera adapter whatever you would call this but i would still hold my phone and have my phone charging the only thing was with this one this does not have usb c output only an input it has two outputs with usb regular usb and only one input or one input with a um i call that the samsung charger the android charger so this item here will charge because it I can also, though, use this, I guess, actually, because this is an adapter. This has a USB-C. So great. I can also charge. I just realized that. I'm pretty slow sometimes. But I thought I had to keep this charged, but now I do have a cord that works with this. If not, you can still charge, which is great, with this item while you're using your phone because it's wirelessly uh, charging through this. But this version has to be plugged in. They do sell one that's double the price that does have, it's probably heavier duty. This is really lightweight till you put your phone on it, but it has an internal battery that uh, will output charge to your phone while you're not plugged in, the, the $36 version. So that's enough about that. Let's Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, so yes, a battery backup. I do. I did get this from Timu back in the day. This was only nine dollars, and it lasts a while. We will. I will keep this in my backpack and plug in the camera batteries, uh, whatever I can into these while we're walking around wherever, Puerto Rico, somewhere traveling, and it'll keep everything charged. This is pretty old. I should probably order some more. We do have more kicking around somewhere. I just got to find them that we got on Amazon, and I have those linked in my Amazon store. It was a two pack. They're not as good as they are good. They're thinner. Whatever this means, I don't. It's probably ten plus. This is twenty plus, and I don't know if that means hours or what that means. But anyway, let's move on. I got. I feel like I'm in a studio, and I got to clean up everything in between uh, takes. This is a new addition to me, but not that new, but a new addition for my phone. I just started using my Rode Wireless Go Two mics or one mic at least it comes with one receiver and two mics so wherever this receiver is at, it can work on my camera which i'm filming with now or it can actually work on your cell phone but you cannot use with some smartphones they don't have the aux option so i have to use usb c to usb c and i actually got this from my my drone my dji drone i had a usb c to usb c that's real small this is also how you charge the product but if you connect it to your phone this now becomes your phone audio the only thing is there's, there's not really a way for me to clip this i am looking into getting something because unfortunately what i need to do is kind of haphazardly clip it on like this and it's not that great but then what i do is i wear one of these i turn it on clip this on my shirt and now we walk around and I can be 30 feet away and someone can be holding my phone and you can still hear me with my mic. And it helps with cutting down the ambient noise, the, the cruise music that's always playing or the loud people next to you or like the, the crackling or you know, whatever. It just, you pick up on your voice more than anything. So this is fairly new, at least for my phone. I've, we've had this and we haven't really used them that much, which is sad because it does help with the audio. Recently, I've used it on my camera and I think the next time I use it, it will be on my camera. So I'm plugging this back in. This plugs into my camera and this can just uh, snap right into the hot shoe. But I do recommend these. These are a little pricey. I have these linked, but if you're serious about creating content or memories and you want good audio, I do recommend uh, the Rode Wireless Go 2. You get two two mics and one receiver and you can use it on most smartphones that have USB-C USB or uh, the aux 
cable thing there. If you don't use any of that, they do have adapter cords that you can buy from Rode. They are expensive. There is off-brand versions that you just have to search for them on Amazon. So I do recommend uh, this if you're serious about creating content. This is, uh, Brittany just got this, aka Nautical Wanderer. So this is a, a light, that a rechargeable light for like vlogging. LED, and it's like a soft light. Even though it looks bright, it's kind of diffused. So it's not like bright. It's not going to cast too big of like a brightness on you, more of a glow. So as you can see, like without it and then with it, you're just going to brighten yourself up a little bit. You can change the hues and then uh, you can get it was warm and then... Uh, white or cold is I believe the term and we are gonna start using this because we notice in some of our videos and lives that our faces have been somewhat badly lit and this has many options to snap this on to things on the side, but you can use this on your phone if you don't mind if you have your phone affixed somewhere like whether it's on the gimbal standing on this uh, doohickey which is now stuck on that magnet. Uh, you can, you know, totally set this up somewhere and use this. I do recommend one of these. Now I just gotta turn it off. If not that one, I do have this one. We got this at, sorry, let me get it in the camera. We got this actually at Dave and Buster's, but we do have one laying around somewhere from Timu. We had a lot of points on Dave and Buster's and we needed to spend them. But this snaps, this can actually snap onto your phone. So uh, they got it, so, you will have to block, I think you go this, actually, let me, well, most, there we go, I guess that way. You gotta just look out for the camera. You can't block the front facing camera, so you gotta get it on there. You gotta see if the camera, I think I can manage it. I got a, a YouTube notification, but these kind of things, you can find them and they're they're better than nothing, especially if you got your face pretty close to the to the camera. I, I do recommend something. You can get these probably even at like the dollar store nowadays. Oh, and you can also flash, which that's not cool. There we go. Uh, so that's kind of it. You've got your cell phone. Let's put it, it's pretty hard to see. Let's put it here. Cell phone, light, battery backup, uh, a gimbal. This new kind of cheap, this, this was only for like 15 bucks when I got it. And there is a version you can get that's higher quality by a, I guess a bigger brand uh, called Shift Cam. I'm looking into them, but it is a lot more money. It's more of an investment if you're really serious, but I'm gonna try this first as long, and I don't mind if I drop this or if I get it wet or something, because it, was, it wasn't too expensive. And it serves a purpose, it actually, it f makes the phone feel, you know, and it's not, it's secure, but if you hit really hard, it's gonna pop. It takes a lot of force though, believe it or not. And I do trust this holding it, like it's not, it's not moving anywhere. I do recommend that. And then of course, the wireless mics to just add to the audio quality or the sound. So this is kind of like my setup, what I'm gonna be using for, especially on our cruises upcoming, it's more easier to get around with this stuff. I can carry actually all of this in my pockets, uh, believe it or not. This I might not always carry, Brittany uses this uses this more than me or if we're uh, sitting somewhere and we're talking or if we're uh, live streaming we use this more uh, or if we're on the move kind of doing just a silent b-roll walkthrough or something we'll use this so I'm not probably going to keep this in my pocket but all this stuff definitely I can keep in my pocket and just recently I used this on one of my last videos I can put this stuck on my phone into my pocket uh, which is nice and then pull it out sometimes it will get snagged in my pocket a little bit but it works i can fit all this stuff and of course this i don't need to take this whole thing i can also leave to, to just get one of these out and the receiver and keep those in my other pocket this can go in one of my pockets if i need it if not i'll throw it in my backpack and this is very lightweight so it's something that won't take up a lot of room technically and you can vlog with this stuff or capture memories or I highly recommend this basic kind of stuff. It's real basic stuff because we are new content creators, dare I say that. So we're not like, we don't have hardcore cameras. I got another so, uh, YouTube notification. Someone's probably not liking something. We'll see. <laughs> But we are using right now, you're watching this on the Sony ZV-1, which I recommend for a basic camera. Uh, it does auto focus. Uh, maybe not all the time, not when you want it to. I do recommend it though. It does have pretty bad stabilization, say if you're walking, but if you're standing still or if you're pointing it on your head while you're talking, it's a pretty good camera. So that's what we use. And I do bring my drone just in case, but that's another video, but I highly recommend this stuff.
get it off camera. I do also recommend getting one of these. Uh, hopefully you will see this make uh, more of an appearance coming up soon. This was also from Dave & Buster's, believe it or not, and I loved it. I need to go on the Margaritaville at sea because this bell, let's get that out of here. It says it's five o'clock somewhere. It always is. So I'm gonna take this and it's time for a drink. Love it. Well, there you have it. Those are my favorite accessories for video vlogging or recording or capturing good quality videos for your smartphone. I always still travel with the camera, this very camera that I'm filming this on. We also have a second camera and we have two other cell phones. I don't always even use any of that stuff. Sometimes I just grab my phone and go. Uh, but if you know you're gonna be doing this for like an hour, you might as well use some of that stuff. I highly recommend all that stuff. I use it. I do have the links in the video description and in my link tree and in my Amazon store. It doesn't cost anything extra for you to click my link and I will get a affiliate commission, basically, if you purchase it through there. But thank you again for watching. I recommend all these items and stay tuned next week, next Sunday. Day celebrity ascent i keep saying it but i'll be using all this stuff there and my five o'clock somewhere uh bell it's five o'clock somewhere y'all anyway thank you for watching bye thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one if you can go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to see more bye